I think when you look at cities in the future, you will see less of the square boxy shape of current skyscrapers and buildings. They won't feel like something that was humanly created. They will feel organic. It's going to be much faster to construct buildings because of drones and because of robotics. The faster it is, the more risks we can take. Once we're actually able to 3D print a wall, we no longer have the need for flat walls. Every wall can become an artistic centerpiece. We're going to have lots of freeform structures that are unlike anything that we have today. People are happier and they are more productive the more they're exposed to green spaces, to trees and to plants. And so the more we can incorporate them within buildings themselves, the better it's going to be for everyone. But that poses new kinds of challenges for constructing buildings. You need to get natural light in, you need to have air circulating, you need to have buildings that are strong enough to accommodate these kinds of plants. Looking differently at what types of materials, how you join those materials, how you surface treat those materials to um, enable the green space to thrive while at the same time uh, not having an adverse effect on your structure. We we'll see buildings that are self-sufficient, so it produces its own food. To make taller buildings in the future, we have more advanced alloys like aluminum lithium, which is even lighter than standard aluminum. These types of things will flow from automotive into building and construction for lighter, stiffer materials. There's no limit to how tall we're going to make the showcase buildings. Active surfaces, surfaces that can clean itself. We have introduced a technology that's called EcoClean. It pulls pollutants out of the air, and as the rainwater washes the building, it washes away the pollutants. The whole drive for net zero energy consuming buildings, for a building potentially actually producing energy, that is not far-fetched. The structure will be not just passive, but responsive and reactive to what's happening to the structure throughout its, its life. Engineered surfaces can be designed that they provide functionality to the building. They will be able to be self-repairing and they will also be much more shaped around human needs. In the addition of all these, what I would almost call biologically inspired systems to make it adaptive. We create the future and we all have the capacity to be positive change makers. So why not start today?